Welcome back to the community, folks, and thanks for being here. If you've not yet subscribed, please go down below and hit subscribe or share the channel. For my community that's already here, thank you for being here. I appreciate it. Down in my description below, in every video now, you'll see a link to where you can buy stickers, t-shirts, apparel, coffee mugs, whatever you want. It truly helps support the channel and everything I do so I can keep upgrading my equipment. Today's the first day with the GoPro. I'm trying it out and seeing how it works. Enough about all that. Okay, today we're going to do a clutch adjustment. I put a brand new clutch pressure plate release bearing flywheel collar as you've seen in my clutch video. And now it's time to adjust it. So we're going to do that. I'll show you how it's done. It's very easy. And I believe like every, I can't remember now, maybe every third oil change, I can't remember. Check your clutch and see if it needs adjusted because you want it to release properly so it's fully seated. So let's get started. First, what to check here is the resistance in the pedal. You should have a half inch to three quarters of free play. Where you feel resistance. Now I just put these in and of course just put the clutch in so my resistance is oh right there because <laughs> it's not adjusted yet but what we'll do we'll check it once we start getting it tightened up we'll put a roller against here out of the pedal and we'll measure the resistance because you definitely want at least and do your own research don't go by me you do what's comfortable for you check your Bentley, go on to Google, go on to the Samba, but I'm doing a half inch to three quarters of an inch and it'll be before I feel resistance. So let's get under the car. Okay, first you're going to go ahead, jack the rear of the car up safely. Don't be an idiot with your jack. Get it under in a safe spot and jack it up. Make sure to use jack stands. Don't trust your jacks. I see a lot of guys, even the guys that have been up for a while, laying under their car with just a floor jack. If that blows out, you're done. It's over. Hurts blown. Make sure to use jack stands. Position them properly and be safe, okay? I'll show you what I do and you do what you want. I'm not telling you where to put your jack stands. Come on. Okay, so normally, transaxle normally I jack mine up on that point right there don't jack your car up on your floors like somebody did to this before me but make sure you jack it up safely okay don't jack it up here because you will bend this like somebody did before me and I had to straighten that brace know what you're doing okay I actually trying to slide around here guys sorry I put mine on the brace across that's what I do you put them where you want and I use jack stands that are always heavier like these are six ton my son bought them for me I am not giving anybody any advice on where to put them that's just where I use them so that's that in a nutshell now you've come in from the driver's side of the vehicle this is the driver's side and you're gonna come in and here's your arm on your transmission. It's on the driver's side. Here's the adjusting nut. You can probably fit a little hex head wrench on here, but I can't get my arm up through there because I'm filming. So the camera's in the way of me getting my one arm up. So I'm gonna use a long pair of needle nose and hold that and then turn it. I can turn it at first without holding the cable because it's so loose. So you're gonna turn clockwise to start tightening it up to give it tension. It's hard to get your hand up in here because I needed to go in where the camera's at. <laughs> so I hope you guys are enjoying this film and utilize it. Some of you may know how to do this, but then there's some of the that may be new to it. So it's always good to put these films out there. And it'll seat in there. Nah, that ain't good yet, I can tell. 
make sure if your clutch cable is old or worn, make sure to replace it and put a new nut on. You don't want to be out in the road and break a clutch cable because then you're pretty much calling AAA or your favorite tow guy. A lot of guys will carry a 17 millimeter socket and ratchet and extension and a clutch cable and nut with them when they're going long, long distances just in case you would break one. Okay, so let's go inside the car. Okay, so we're gonna see what the resistance is like. I still got a ways to go. I can feel resistance right there. But we want half the three quarter and we'll end up putting our ruler against here. And that's how we're going to find out where our free play is. Okay. Okay, so we gotta go tighter which is normal. It's gonna take me a couple times here to get it where it needs to be. Here's a picture of the nut. And the reason I showed you that is it seats inside of here, on the other side, of course. If you see what I mean right here, it'll seat in place. Luckily, I haven't had to hold the cable, and I believe that's because the nut and the threads and everything are new. That seat's in there. Now, yeah, let me go a little further, because that's it's pretty loose. They sell a tool for this right here. And you can hold the nut with it, but I never really seen a need for it. Maybe some people would. I don't know. Okay, let's go check it. Uh-oh. Oh, no. There we go. It's going to be too much, but I'll measure it anyhow. I'll show you this up close when I'm done. But we're at eight and a half. Oh, I think I nailed it. I'll show you in a minute. Hang tight, don't bully me. Eight and a half, resistance as at eight. So that's my half inch right there. Somehow I got lucky and nailed it. Let me hold the roll one more time. Come on, jerk. A little over half inch. So that's pretty good. That's my free play. Okay, so I only have two hands. I'm holding the camera with one and of course the roller with the other. You're just gonna position your roller against the firewall up to where your pedal would be. And obviously you're going to, I'm all over the place here. There we go. Then you're gonna push your pedal and go from a half inch to three quarter. Do your own research on that, but that's what I use. You don't wanna have uh, not enough or too much. You want it kind of just right so the flywheel, you know, actually works properly. Okay. Okay, so that's all adjusted and done. All right, make sure your nut is sitting like this. As you've seen in the photograph I showed, the nut has like a bevel on it and it seats inside of this. So it kind of locks it in place. So it can't turn on its own. So that's all there is to that. Okay, so give it a fill with your foot. See how it feels. This one's all new, pressure plate and everything. So everything feels good. We're gonna measure once more. I'm pushing it in and out a few times just to see what it feels like. Make sure everything's taken out of it. Okay, I'm gonna check it one more time. Okay. 
going to put our ruler against here. It's kind of a pain to do that, but it's the only way, really. Okay. Yeah, I got between half and three quarter, so that's pretty good. I think I nailed it. Okay. All right, so that is your clutch adjustment. Uh, always check that maybe every two, three oil changes, depending on how many miles you put on. Keep an eye on it because you want to get the longest life you can out of your clutch plate. And of course, you want it releasing properly and seating properly. Thanks for being here. Check out my store below for some stickers, apparel, and make sure to share the channel with others so they can learn by these videos also. Have a great day.